Hey YouTube, Critcher here, backing in with another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Free Me Night. After a few going in and out of random quests, I finally got Lunastra to show up again. You don't actually fight her in the tower in the first fight, you fight her in the volcano, which is actually the fight I did with the issues with the controller, so I don't have that footage. But I'm just going to show off the fight in the tower for this video. Whoever knows, she might actually run off to the uh, volcano after the. When she gets weak, she leaves, and you do the quest again in order to finish her off. And she might go to the volcano then, or she might come back here. This place has one benefit of the once you get to the top of the tower, the fight's all in the top area. This could be a benefit or a negative, depending on whether or not you prefer being able to leave, because you can't leave the top area once you're in there. The passage gets blocked. And the monster also can't leave, so it's just a massive endurance fight in that area. I really should eat these quickly. Actually, this would be a quest where if I had another armor set, I would take it because there's no need for auto tracker. And even though Rathalos armor is like weak to dragon, these, as far as I'm aware, Lunastra only does fire damage. She doesn't actually hurt you with dragon. You also need to use the dragon weapon against her for multiple reasons. Uh, you need to hit her with dragon damage on the crest to actually break it. You can deal all 100% of the damage to kill her hitting her crest, but if there's not a single damage point of dragon been applied, then it won't break. I think it's a similar deal for some other monsters, although I'm not sure. I don't think it is for Kashadiora, because I recall I did him with a lightning weapon and it was perfectly fine. Been trying to get a uh, dark stone with the bones I got from the first Lunastra, and I used up all the bones pretty much, and I haven't got a dark stone, so I still don't have the dragon bow, which is slightly sad. I can't remember what her title is, I think it's Blazing Empress. Okay, she has the fire aura. This is actually a really big Nunastra. Like, either she's normally this big and I just haven't played in so long that this seems really big to me. Or well, this is a really big Luna. Oh, jeez. Okay, th she's gonna. Ex it's. I can't honestly remember how to tell if it's the long range or the short range one she's gonna do. Oh god, my death perception's off. Um. This fight ain't gonna end within 25 minutes. All the while she was poisoned, I barely got any hits on her. So, yeah. This is a short range one. Her fire aura has the same rules as when you're stepping on lava. If you're on the ground, it won't damage you. And she has a flamethrower. What are you going to do? 
going to run. And then do a roll. And run again. With me completely missing. I think this is a short range one again. Oh no. That was. Okay, I have no idea how to tell a the difference then. That was stupid. Also, hitting her in the face is an easier way to make her fall down than hitting her in the legs. She's one of the few creatures that has something like that. At least I got some damage on her. That was actually a really good low engage. Oh, this isn't gonna work well. Wait, that's free? Mm. There's a middle ground one as well. And I just noticed that frame drop as well, so... Might have to drop the rendering resolution. Oh, that actually worked. Holy oh, shit. I'm pretty sure I just saw her mouth giving off dragon element. That was either my weapon doing it, or she's in rage mode. That doesn't home! I've honestly thought the entire time I've played this game that that attack homed in on you. It just uses the distance you're running at what speed you're running to try and calculate where you're going to be, and if you turn around, then it won't reach you. It's like juking in League. Except you're juking a giant blue dragon instead of a blue Ezreal, I guess. Mm. Long range, shit. I don't know why I didn't get hit by that. I'm very lucky. Ooh, hmm. Yeah, it seems about my calculation calculation theory seems kinda right. They I think when she's in rage mode those tail swipes actually explode on contact. Ooh, this is good. And I literally just remembered that the best thing to do there is go underneath her, which I've already figured out. But I forgot. I suck at video games. Oh, that's why I'm in yellow sharpness. How am I gonna sharpen in this area? I don't have to... well, right now seems like a good bet. And she paid off. Honestly, I'm just surprised she hasn't started flying yet. Then again, maybe she, she has to get to a certain health to do that. I have no idea. Well, there we go. She... That's a definite rage mode. Okay. <laughs> so here's something I never figured out about rage mode. The monster does more damage, but is it similar to 
adrenaline and the fact that it's more risky for them? Like, do they take more damage? Or do they take less damage? Well, anyways, it's really risky for me to fight. Because <laughs> I definitely take more damage. This is not going well. My cat got hit, so that wasn't too wrong. I'm trying to figure out what the exact arc of that is so I can so I can move in quicker. Maybe get a few more hits. Okay, it goes back a little bit further than the location it starts at. Not by a huge amount, just a little. By the way, the fact I haven't broken the crest yet, kind of foreboding. Although I'm trying to figure out why her fire aura turned off and never came back on. I mean, unless those are... Uh, like, I know her legs are s kind of scarred at the front, but I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or if I've scarred them. It's not... Because normally with the dragons, to break some... You have to break a specific part. It's normally the head or the tail. You have to break, and then their like unique ability disables. The Kshadiyor's wind, the Nastra's fire aura, Teostra has the fire aura as well, or does he use something slightly different? I think he has the fire aura. And Chameleos's chameleonism, I guess. Not sure really what to call that other than invisibility. That's gonna not hurt. Hmm. There's those exploding tail sizes I was saying about. Ow. Well, that wasn't too good. Now I have no stamina. That one did genuinely feel like it was homing. These dust covers on the back of this controller are shit. They keep falling out. I didn't hear all.
not quite sure what's happening to my frame rate here. It seems to be dropping, so I'm gonna quickly. There we go. Stability over visuals is always my opinion. Oh, your crest broke at some point. Did I break that earlier ago, or is that broken recently? This tail is really high. Okay, I already got shot. <laughs> She does a long room one, I'm so again hit. Ow! <laughs> I walked right into that. I think her wing. Wait, are her wings broken? Because that might be. Wait, I know. I can see they're broken. But were those the ones that were disabling her? Did breaking her wings disable her fire? I could have swore it was her crest. She's flinching a lot. I think I just like rolled up against her leg and then it didn't actually move me. I didn't even think I could reach her wings. And I kind of just like bounced off the feathers on her tail. Then again, there is one monster where its exterior is entirely ridiculously thick and strong hair. It's really hard to damage the monster. This might actually be my the monsters that kill you the most aren't the ones that do one attack of stupidly high damage it's the ones that can combo you into a corner 
her combo is really easy for the AI to just break by you. There's so few abilities that can actually stun lock you. That the AI just keeps breaking it all the time. That is huge! That was absolutely huge. Oh no, she's on the floor and I don't have enough shots to go hit her. So that's wings, crest, tail. I can't say for sure whether or not the front legs were even breakable if they were like that from the beginning. Ow. I thought it was completely underneath her. I wanted to get underneath her. Actually, I know what I brought. Oof. She is she in rage mode, or is that just her getting weaker? Wow. She's getting them, she's making them really close to her. Yeah, okay, so it's got like three or four different distances that it can work at. It's, it's hard to judge. Like, it's hard to judge positioning when like she can hit four locations at once and there's no real giveaway as to what locations those are. Why is my weapon power decreasing so much quicker now? At the start of the fight, it decreased really slowly. And is my frame rate dropping even further? Because it feels like it is. sharpness doesn't want to last anymore. It's so huge.
I can't remember the exact lore of the tower actually. There's like some really deep lore about it. I can't quite remember what it was. Like it was either like a graveyard or something or I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, I didn't care. You can't skip that cutscene? Okay. Lunastra tail. Mm. Well, it didn't say I dropped any frames on the actual software. I wonder if it's to do with the rendering mode. We could quit change that to non-buffered. And also quickly try and find that dust cover that fell off. The really doesn't even fit the well it fits, but it's like it fits so like it almost fits too well. And there's nothing really holding it there. There's like no friction against the side so it just drops out. Kinda I kinda have to hold them in while I'm playing. But in my opinion it's better than actually having the two like paddle things at the back because it was quite obstructive. It's nice having like three, like two sets of bumper buttons and the, tr the two triggers as well though. Horn, fire dragon webbing, shout scale, a lot of bones, and some fire dragon scales. Okay. Don't know where you found that. <laughs> so hopefully her second quest is showing up. I'm gonna quickly check that, and if it is, then we'll just eat and go do it. If not, yeah, it's there. Okay, it's in the tower again, so I don't get straight to volcano. But I don't think I got to show off the jungle for the Kashada or either. So I'm looking for meat and veggies. That looks good. There we go. Won't need any cool drinks or any of that, so let's just let's just go kill the dragon. It has her title as the like for me it says Elder Dragon of the Mist. Hers it has her title as the quest name for the one in the volcano, and I think it's the Blazing Empress. So I have I have no idea though. I can't remember. I'm not sure where she got the title of Asira the Ancients. So I think that might just be. I think that might just be lore about the tower more than the actual Lunastra, to be honest. Oh, I have bounce. I completely forgot about those. It's because she's not flying up at all. And I completely forgot normal potions, didn't I? Yeah. Oops. Oh well. Based on how much I damaged her last time, this fight really shouldn't take that long. Wait, I'm thinking 10 15 minutes tops of actual fighting. The music here is quite beautiful, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Five? I do not remember this. I think she start. I think, like, she flies up the tower or something. Actually, yeah, I think... I think... I think that happens when it doesn't have the cutscene playing. They start in a lower area and they fly up. 
but normally they fly up before you reach them. Oh, good. I'm more sad about the lack of stamina regen I got throughout that whole thing. Actually, there's going to be other stuff here. The little creatures. Oh, God. It got some good damage, but it was taking a fair bit. Oh, what? There was no way. No, no, no. That shouldn't have hit me. That gear pre destroyed. I was like, I was wondering why the fuck is a gear pre doing here. Kinda of forgot about the dragon trying to run into me. A gear prey isn't exactly even afraid. Okay, that's the small one again. What makes her do the big one? Oh, sad, we don't get the heals. I'm surprised that Gear Prey hasn't gone killed yet. Oh, y you dick! Now I'm just sad. You fucking asshole. Son of a bitch. Fucking gear break! God! Asshole little shits. Okay, now it's the long one again. I am so fucking dead. There's like nothing I can do in that situation. If I stopped to drink a potion, she would have hit me. If I didn't keep dodging, she would have hit me. Fucking gear prey. It's not the fucking like, actual monsters in this game that are ever the issue. It's the little shits that hit you when you're trying to fight them. And normally it's not that much of an issue because, you know, five, ten minutes into a fight, normally the big monsters just 
cleave the little creatures out of the fight, but those were just staying around the edges of the area and then coming in to attack me. That was so annoying. On a note of bad hitboxes, Remover are the worst. They have like this hitbox that drags down beneath them, and then they push you around with it. It's really weird. Like, even if they're flying up really high, they can push you around. It's really weird. Can I, I get why they made this on the PSP, because the whole contract was Sony. But one thing I'll never understand is, why did they make... Actually, I know the answer to this question already. They made it on the PSP because of the Japanese demographic. Like in the Japanese demographic, they don't hugely care for home consoles like PS3s and stuff. They prefer portable ones. They can go to a train station or a bus station or go to the park and play with people. And Monster Hunter was like that exact kind of game. So make racing on the PSP in Japan makes sense. I, it just the PSP didn't have the capacity to actually code everything as they would have wanted. I completely forgot I had these. Big fire beam? Little fire beam. Not sure what benefit I actually get from poisoning you anymore. I'm pretty sure it does percentage damage, so... In fact, as soon as I take a hit, I need to t use a max potion to fill my health bar to full. Ah, oh, that also means I lose all that attack that I got off the meal. My my cats aren't really high enough level to... Oh, there we go. I went so close to beating you without dying. But the damn Geoprey. Damn damn Geoprey, though. I'm pretty sure I broke everything. Yeah. Wings, crest. I'm assuming as I didn't get any reward for the actual legs, then you can't break those. So they must have been like that from the beginning. So, in the calves, I got a tail, shell, two claws, and a mane. Okay. I'm happy with that, other than the kind of bullshit death, in my opinion. Oh, well. I, I'll just never understand why. In this game, a little Geo Prey isn't scared of an Elder Dragon. It it's they. I understand it's because the AI isn't really coded to interact with each other. It's it's coded to interact with the hunter, so it kind of ignores its each other. Apart from a few specific instances where monsters actually attack each other, but I, I honestly can't even remember if those actually show up in this game or if it's just on the games that came after it. So they only really work with the hunter and because of that they aren't afraid of stuff they should be afraid of. That was... That was a sh That was the shortest of an Astro Fort? The other one must have been hella big. Well, that's the Nastra done out of the way. Um, in Elder Dragon's terms, that leaves Camellios. We have Camellios, and we have the Emperor of Flame. So, that leaves Teostrand, Camellios. And have various other quests that. Mostly two monster quests. 
and a few stuff in five star, or is that just Camellios? I think that's just Camellios. So next time we'll try finding Camellios. I'm I have no confidence about fighting against him, honestly. Out of all the Elder Dragons, he's the one whose armor I never had interest in, whose weapons I never had interest in, and the fight never really interested me too much. And he steals stuff. That's about as much as I know. Well, I know that his tongue is the bit that steals stuff from me. His tongue whip. So, yeah, that'll be an interesting fight. And I have no idea how to get him out of his stealth form. There's a certain way of getting him to show up. I think it's using a sonic bomb or something, but I have no idea how to do that. So, I might do a bit of research, or I might just go in blind. I I wonder what people would actually prefer to see. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I almost killed a Lunastra without dying. Which would have been really nice welcome back. I just if you fight something in the tower, wait for it to go to the top area before you fight it. Or you're gonna have a bad time with Gear Prey. I'll see you guys in the next video.